Well, hot diggity dog, I was looking for some other oldie to make my day really complete since I was on a streak of filming old uh, cars and trucks. And right now I'm back in my hood here in Hochelaga after a really long bike ride. There's that Malibu that I filmed years ago. Probably like, like five years ago since I saw it with an RX-8 parked in front of it, oddly enough. It belongs to the... Uh, Malibu belongs to a guy who owns the garage over here and he says it's just a push car to push uh, cars in and out of his garage there. And there we go, man. How cool is that? Circa 73. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me. Look, the plate says it all. The uh, old Quebec plate, 76. Year for the Olympics in Montreal, Quebec. You see, the Schwinn brought me good luck. And it's funny because I was booting it on, booting along there big time fast up on fucking Ontario there, Ontario Street. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to go uh, down the street over there next to the CN line, uh, CP line, which is uh, Alphonse de Roy, I think. And another thing that's funny to see this truck, because I had spotted it once before, but I didn't get a chance to film it. And um, is that, uh, what is it, a few days ago I uploaded a video of a uh, similar Elk 73 to 76 GMC Suburban, which is even rarer than this. And look at this beauty sitting right here with its, well, I don't know if they're, I don't think the original hubcaps, but it's got the trim rings around it. That's interesting. Old ass fucking paint there. Yeah, man. Interior looks nice, man. Yeah, interior is sweet. Look at that. Original upholstery. Very nice. Standard transmission. Standard transmission, man. This thing's probably Canadian, too. It's got an old CB antenna. Yeah, it's a Sierra. And uh, with a standard tranny, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing had a six-cylinder in it. Very basic type of, of truck. Very typical Canadian basic type of rig. Right on, that's awesome. And what did I see today, you say? I saw a rear Porsche 928 S4. I just filmed up in the uh, Plateau sector. There was a 76 or 77 Oldsmobile Cutlass Coupe. Yeah? Yeah, man. Trailer hitch. Looks pretty good underneath. Not too shabby. Mind you, it's rush hour here, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this thing. Yeah, it's got some primer there, eh? Gonna get repainted, maybe? Obviously, must have had a body job on her. Oof, God, it smells bad here, though. Woo, man, it smells bad. Imagine, in the western part of the country, or even in the States, man, in the Midwest, trucks like these are a dime a dozen because they don't rust and they were so well made. They're typical General Motors, high-value vehicles. You know? Ah, eh, she's got a little rot. You can see she's had some rot on her. Yeah, 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 but I still like it. It's just, you know, just a classic, it's just your quintessential classic American pickup. You know? Very original. Yes, Sierra, Sierra. Well, didn't they also have a model called a Sierra Grande, I think? Am I not, am I wrong about that, or? Yeah, I'm even wondering about those tires, actually. Oh no, those tires look new actually. Well, those caps are probably from the 80s. Very typical caps from the 80s. See, after 70, uh, after 76, 70, uh, 77, 78, 79, I think 80 was the same uh, frame, but the grill uh, had more uh, slats. It was more, as they call, egg crate design. You know? And that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty cool. Right on. And there you go, man. Hope you guys like it. Timing is great. Battery's dying. I'm fucking hot as hell right now. And uh, I'm going home and uh, spend time with Gloria. Okay. Bye-bye.